So, welcome back everyone, and uh, yeah, we are stood in front of our kind of map of the world at the moment, and um, or our, our area, and I, I want to work on um, some more building this episode. So last episode we were down in the, um, in our farm area, building up some um, redstone um, farms, and in between the episodes I've checked and everything is working working fine down there so we're producing some melons and pumpkins and sugarcane um but i want to do a bit more building because redstone's not really my thing and i enjoy the building more so as a reward for the <laughs> hard work in the last episode i'm gonna do a little bit of building and it's on this map that I want to do this building work and um, just to uh, in between the the fields and the barn there's kind of a little raised up area and it's right there that I'd like to do um, do the building and I want to build a greenhouse up there um, because at the moment um, I think it would look pretty good um, it might get in the way of the, the barn but I think that's okay I think it's quite it'd be good make this area a little busier I think and um, make it feel a bit more lived in and so we're going to build a greenhouse and we are also then going to work on getting some bees going um, for our honey because uh, there's still a lot of um, torches around in this place I want to clear that up and as part of the process of clearing that up I want to replace a few things add up some candles here and and up here so we need we need wax or honeycomb for that and so yeah I want to do some building and some bees in this episode so I'm gonna sleep through the night I am going to gather my resources and I'm gonna bring you back by the place we're building so oh, hello Mr. Zombie um, up here is where I would like to build this so eventually we're going to have some water running through this area and I think up here a little raised area up here is going to be a custom tree and um, that leads down um, and I think we can terraform this area out quite nicely um, I've changed the way we get into our mines around here but I, I have a better idea coming in the future so this build is going to be uh, dark oak cobble deep slate and this white stained glass and we're going to build it out in this kind of frame we have so the basic part of it oops I've kind of marked out the area but we're going to start with this bottom layer of these um, the oak which we'll strip back because it looks better I, I think the strip stuff looks looks a lot better and then in between those we're going to add our cobbled foundation we're gonna have a door in this area but that is going to be the foundation of it and I like this contrast I think this dark wood and, and the darker stone um, work well together and um, yeah so I'm going to um, grab up on my second monitor the design I have and we're going to keep going um, progressing on this build so we're gonna go one two three four up i should have stripped those on the way but live and learn and then in the area between we're gonna fill in the glass and we're gonna go all the way around and uh, yeah just do the same process um, yeah and then on the sides we're going to bring this up uh, one more 
on each side. Okay, give it a little bit of shape to it. So this is kind of the rough shape um, without the roof in place. And um, yeah, hopefully it fits in well when we kind of terraform around it. I reckon this could look very nice going forward. Um, but now we need to do the roof side of it. And um, yeah, roofs, mm, not normally my sort of thing, but uh, yeah, let's gather the stuff and, and let's see how it goes. So let's see how the front is looking. I think, yeah, I think I need to add Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I went one, two, uh, one, two less on the step side of stuff. So let's get back and add those in. So I think we need to have another step like that on both sides. <laughs> slabs and let's see how that looks yeah I think that looks looks better apart from placing that step wrong so on these edges we go two upside down stairs and then the rest are then slabs so let's do the other side so two and one that's the second one and then the slabs take over on the side and then when we go back down we can check it because i'm not sure if that's exactly How I have it. Yeah, I think I'm missing that. That. Yeah, that's that's how it is. In, yeah, that's how I want it. Okay, cool. Wait, does that mean... Well, I think that's then wrong. Okay, maybe I'll repeat it on that side as well. Upside down. Normal way around. Normal way around. Slab. slab so upside down normal oops that is not upside down huh. I'm really looking forward to getting some scaffolding whenever we end up finding a jungle because that will just make this just that little bit easier to build with um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I've done this wrong. So I'm gonna take this down and redo it like we had on the other one. So we had one, two, and then we go slab, slab, slab. And on this side, we go one upside down. One the right way. slab there an extra slab not there Let's see how that looks now yeah what I like to do is step away further from builds and have a look so I reckon little tweak to that roof 
where we have flattened it out and I think yeah I think that looks looks good to me then for a doorway we're gonna use a birch door for once don't think I've used much uh, much birch in this place now, I'm not sure I have enough stairs but um, we'll give it a try so we're basically gonna try and recreate what we did here yeah and I will um, grab some more steps and come back in fact you know I might finish the frame of the roof and then bring you back at that point so welcome back and I think I've got the roof out on it um, from above it looks okay here looks a little odd but I think that'll look better from down below so let's take a quick look from further away yeah I think that's good and right here in this gap we can put some well we could go yellow glass at that point yeah that'd be nice actually um, yeah and inside it looks pretty good but as I said before we need to fill this out and um, I'm, I'm kind of pretty it up as well um, I have a very nice uh, design for the outside um, which I'll work on but we need to get bees so in a previous episode I was informed that if we plant a sapling with uh, with four flowers around it there is a chance that we get a bees nest so let's try it out no bees nest hmm no bees nest as yet um so that was number two let's see so now i don't know if this is biome specific um, but I think I'm in an okay biome for this. So let me just I don't know, go through a few of these and see what happens and bring you back, hopefully, with some success. Aha! Okay, we have one spawned. That's a good start. I think that was maybe the sixth or seventh attempt um, and we have a bee nice we should have two so if they want to come out we could breed them aha uh -huh. you and you so now baby bee okay well I think I might get a few more going see if I can get a few more and uh, see where that leads us okay while we are working on a few more trees let's get ourselves a campfire and then we will be able to uh, and uh, shears and set up that um, the one hive we have currently so if uh, you don't know if a campfire is under a bee's nest I think it's three or more, uh, sorry, three or less uh, spaces between the fire and the nest itself, then the bees won't get mad when you harvest it. So if I put that there, it should be close enough without damaging the bees themselves. It's when I'm quite glad I put this together and um, made some more bone meal from seeds because it's very useful for growing but it's also very useful for um i find for terraforming and, and filling out stuff 
that way as well. Okay, well, while the bees end up, uh, while we try and get those bees going and get uh, some basic wax set up and everything, um, let's continue with this build then. So, as I said, on the outside, I have this kind of nice little design. Got some azalea, also got some cobbled um, stone balls. So on this side, we're going up with our fences, and then we will go to fence gates there, and then we can add a bush underneath, and also kind of coming over from the top as well. And then here, it's like this, same on that side. And then the door itself, I have it set up where we have a slab on that side and that side and a stair in the middle um yeah i think yellow glass might look pretty nice there and then yeah I'll just go around the the outside <clears throat> and fill in these kind of the basic stuff on this side um, and it's the same on um, on the backs here. So it's like this. This one's a few more. Yeah. So like this on the back side with um, bushes underneath. Need some more gates though, I guess. Um, and on the sides here, what we're doing is we're gonna do uh, like a the plant potter style um, that we have around here with a bit of dirt and some trap doors. Um, and on these corner ones here, we're also just gonna do trap doors to finish them off. Like that and on the back yeah we need need to add more dirt in around but on the back we've got a trapdoor there and there yeah so we need a few more bits and pieces which I'll gather up but this is how the detail on on the, the sides will look and on the top itself, which is going to make it look overgrown with um, with bushes as we can go. So just randomly, it's quite nice to do this in in uh, in a creative world, um, which is kind of where I tested this out, but obviously. Um, I'm not in creative here, so it's a uh, it's a little harder. But uh, yeah, as I said, scaffolding still would be nice to get. No jungle found yet, but maybe in a future episode we'll do a bit more. Um, a bit more exploration and find that jungle, because I still think jungle wood would look nice in a few of these builds even though we now have the the, <laughs> the favorite the dark oak um do we really need any other wood um i quite like jungle with um sandstone i think it's jungle maybe it's acacia as well um look pretty good with sandstone which in our um 
in our village might look might look good itself so let's just bring a couple of these down around here yeah and same on this side yeah and I think that is a pretty nice overgrown look as I said on the side we'll build up some dirt and some some flowers on it hello Mr. B did you have something for me yet yes you do and I don't have shears on me so if I've done this right they will not get annoyed at me for stealing their honey nice and with this we can make candles and we can also make other beehives which means we can move this um, and create more so that we don't need just these uh, so we don't need to uh, kind of do this with the trees set up hoping that we oh that is a big tree I don't oh, wow don't need a big tree but it's done now I guess okay cool so the next thing is to work on the inside um, and I gathered some chains and some some trapdoors because I really like if I had enough trapdoors <laughs> this kind of look of the kind of being held up yeah so as I said I quite like that set up there and oh, uh, lantern and a lantern hanging here and here I think will look good yeah and um, yeah for the floor I'm kind of thinking combination I need to gather more of it but coarse dirt deep slate and, and cobble deep slate so just going in and kind of replacing a few a few things here and there with the cobbled deep slate similar to how we do it um how you see me do it downstairs as well right and then come in and say we'll take a one of these something like this with our course dirt in a few of these places and then like that um, yeah and we'll kind of build out some more kind of grow beds and in this section here and here we'll put a campfire in each and then have the bees nest when we get them and this is all kind of set up um, so we can get a bit of wax and, and make out um, some candles from that how often does it grow and it grows pretty quickly that stuff so we'll be able to get some nice regularly get some nice candles and, and add some um, add some bees nests in here but I think that is a nice start for the build but what I also need to do is not just this but I need to work on uh, connecting my village we found in the other episode with a nether portal so it's easier for us to get to so I think I'm gonna finish this grow bed gather some materials and uh, yeah and kind of start working on connecting the nether portals together so I've gathered my sword and shield and my gold boots and uh, yeah we're gonna 
dive into the nether and see if we can connect these portals together. So I took the um, coordinates of the last one, or of the, the one next to the village, and hopefully I have enough stone. Oh no, that went <laughs> badly. At least I am not dead, but I forgot to bring a flint and steel to uh, reconnect that portal. So what we are going to have to do is find our way to the other portal, which is at negative 154, uh, 54, 41 and 180. So we need to go, so we need to go southwest quite a lot. Wow, I can't believe that creeper was there. Okay, well, we got to do this traveling anyway, so let's do it. So I think I've been this way before, um, but I've never really, never really set it up. So we need to go this way and yeah, see where how far we need to go. So it was negative one oh it's not that far at all it's here and then we need to go this way about 150 blocks and it is actually just here wow okay that is hardly any distance at all and of course it's night time oh. So, most important thing now, now that we know where where everything connects, is we need to be able to get back. <laughs> um, so we need a flint and steel. And then once we've got it, we can always come back and kind of secure up this place. Let's see if we can find some iron in one of these, one of these hills. We need to really focus on this village in an episode and and kind of set it up so we're good to go i'd love some blaze powder before we do that to make sure that we um can have a uh, end chest going on but um yeah so i think i saw a crafting table So now that we have that, flint and steel, need to remember going to the nether, get a flint and steel with you. And while we're here, you can be healed up. So now we know roughly where our portals are and how to get between the two. We can really start to build up this village. We still need to find a nether fortress though. Um, to get some blazes. But for now, let's, and we need to kind of, I'd love to make this way a little more secure to get to and from the, f the portals. But for now, for now I'm okay with this and maybe I can build out the never transport in between episodes so we really aren't that far away we might even be able to there's our other one and it's just the other side there so we really are not far away between the two it's just not that easy, but you can reposition the portals, which I will probably do so that they're in the ceiling of the nether, which should make transportation a bit easier and a little safer as well. Hopefully this connects up okay, back again, should do.
Yeah, perfect. Okay, so a uh, creeper just got in and blew it up from the other side. Uh, sure. Eventful, let's put it that way. I think something a little chill to end this episode. So we have six of these honeycomb. Are these the honeycomb? Yeah. So that should mean we can make a few candles. If we mix the honeycomb and string, we get some candles. So, one place I really want candles is up here. I think they'll look great up there. Yeah, I think that looks great. And candles can go up to four in a bundle. So I think another four there would be good. And as the bees and, and kind of everything kind of continues, we'll be able to fill out more and more candles um, around the place. Uh, so uh, we need a couple here. We need a couple up, um, up in the enchanting area. We also need a couple. Um, and um, yeah, so let's update the map. Nice. I think that looks good. And I don't think... I don't think it kind of blocks the view too much. But I think it just kind of adds to this area. Adds to how, how it is, how busy. So let's head up a little bit to the top of this m hill and see what kind of that the area looks like. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I think um, uh, we need to kind of fill it out and fill out the pathing as well. And um, But uh, imagine with some water running around the front here, um, um, nice trees set up around it as well and behind it and kind of um, terraforming out this land as well. So it's not like bang straight onto the water. Um, but I think this, this will be a very nice addition to this area. So yeah, I guess that that's about it. I, we've had the shock of the creeper in the nether. We have connected our, well, we now know where our nether portals are. Um, I think we need to work on a better connection to for them. Um, and we also have some bees. I think for now we will leave it with this build. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think to this build and this area of land. I'm going to get rid of this tree because I, I just don't like these ones um, that they make them. But I think we can... Well, with the water, we probably won't need anything here, but I think we can build up some custom trees and, 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 and bushes and stuff to make this a little more interesting. And But that'll come in a whole decorating episode. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I look forward to the next few episodes where we will be connecting the spawners and we will also be working on the... Um, on the uh, village and connecting that in a safer way as we found out um, and yeah so I look forward to seeing you and next time please drop a like if you've enjoyed this episode if you've made it this far um, and you consider subscribing that would also be fantastic and uh, yeah let me know what you think to this build and um, yeah I will uh, kind of do the fine details in between and, and probably let you know before in another episode about it. So thanks so much for joining me and goodbye.